Hey, what's up growers? Today we're going to discuss the hidden potential of trichomes beyond just trimming. You will be guided through methods for maximizing their value and offered insights often overlooked in traditional cultivation. What if I told you that you're throwing away the most valuable part of your harvest? Most cultivators stop at the trim tray, but they're missing out on a gold mine. Get ready to unlock the true untapped potential of trichomes that goes far beyond what you've ever imagined. When most growers finish trimming, they see the leftover sugar leaves and shake as waste. But those sticky little crystals on your trim, that's where the real treasure lies. Trichomes aren't just eye candy, they're chemical factories. The powerhouses that produce your cannabinoids, terpenes, and flavonoids. If you're throwing away trim, you're tossing out a serious chunk of your plant's value. This video is all about reclaiming that hidden gold and maximizing every gram of potential from your harvest. So, what are trichomes really? Beyond the sticky stuff, trichomes are microscopic resin glands covering your buds, leaves, and even stems. They're where your cannabinoids, THC, CBD, CBG, and aromatic terpenes are synthesized and stored. There are three main types, bulbous trichomes, tiny, almost invisible, capitate sessile trichomes, small but packed with cannabinoids, uh, capitate stalked trichomes, the big ones you see glittering, these are the main resin producers. Healthy trichomes mean healthy plants. Their condition directly reflects your plant's potency, aroma, and flavor. When they're cloudy and amber at harvest, that's your signal that cannabinoids are at their peak. Timing is everything when it comes to trichomes. Harvest too early and you lose potency too late and THC begins converting to CBN, dulling effects. Ideally, aim for 70 to 90% cloudy trichomes with a touch of amber for that perfect balance of potency and maturity. Gentle handling during harvest is just as critical. Trichomes are fragile, excessive contact. Rough trimming or too much heat can destroy them. Always trim in a cool, dry environment and use sharp scissors to reduce mechanical damage. And before you even hit the trim tray, think about your cutting technique. Trimming branches cleanly, minimizing agitation, and allowing slow, consistent drying all help preserve those resin heads intact, ensuring your final product stays frosty and flavorful. Two proven methods dominate. Number one, dry sifting, a simple, affordable way to collect keef using mesh screens. It's all about gentle agitation shake too hard and you'll mix plant material with resin. Done right, you can separate clean golden trichomes ready for pressing or vaporizing. Two, ice water. Extraction, also known as bubble hash. This method uses ice, water, and bags to separate trichomes from plant material. The cold makes resin brittle, allowing clean separation. It's more labor intensive, but produces some of the highest purity results possible. Once collected, storage matters. Light, heat, and oxygen degrade trichomes fast. Keep them in airtight containers stored in a cool, dark place. Ideally, around 40 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 to 10 degrees Celsius with low humidity. And just really fast, guys, I wanted to thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoy the content. Make sure to leave a like if you do. If you want access to these videos as soon as I complete them, make sure to become a member of the growing community for only 99 cents a month. It goes a long way and it really supports the channel. Just click that join button below. Anyways, back to the, to the video. Here's where things get really fun. Once you've isolated trichomes, you're holding concentrated plant essence. That means endless possibilities. Concentrates, press your keef into resin for solventless extracts. Edibles, infuse trichomes into butter, coconut oil, or tinctures for precise dosing. Topicals, blend resin into balms or lotions for localized relief. No psychoactive effects, just therapeutic benefits. And if you are into experimentation, 
isolated trichomes can even be used to explore strain-specific flavor profiles or blended into new concentrates that highlight terpene diversity. Researchers are also exploring pharmaceutical and agricultural applications from trichome-based pest deterrents to cannabinoid delivery systems. We're only scratching the surface of what these glands can do. Every grower chases yield, but the smartest growers chase efficiency, getting the most value from every part of the plant. Trichomes make that possible. By reclaiming and repurposing what others throw away, you're turning trim into profit. Even small batches of collected resin can be turned into premium concentrates worth far more per gram than raw flour. Beyond economics, understanding trichomes gives you total quality control. They tell you everything about your grow nutrient balance, maturity, and even environmental stress. Once you learn to read your trichomes, you can fine tune your cultivation for consistent top shelf results. So next time you're staring at your trim tray, remember you're not done harvesting, you're just getting started. Well, that concludes today's video, guys. Of course, if you did enjoy this one, leave a like, subscribe for more. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.